do for the makeup here. I hope you enjoyed uh, the beginning of my Let's Play of Sonic Herzog Episode 4. But I'm carrying on with this now. Like, this room I've been into before, but this leads to the other room that I didn't actually complete. So, let's have a look around here. I think, anyway, that I've, uh, I've covered everything. Um, I suppose I could go back, but I think I've got 100%. The trouble is that this game doesn't really tell you if you've, uh, if you've missed something, if you see what I mean. So, you can't look at, uh, more than one floor at a time, basically. Well, that's complicated. I, I doubt there will. Or if there will, they've decided to fight you anyway. No, they're, no, they're not. They're not real. Edge. Please, they're not real. Well, that, that little bit of subterfuge didn't last that long, did it? Whenever I can steal anything useful from you, whilst I'm waiting to find out what you're weak to. Okay, you know, you know the drill. You know how I do this. First thing is to find out what uh, what these guys are weak to. I don't know why I can only do one at a time, but never mind. Well. He's weak to nothing. I I don't wish death. No, um, I wish you to leave me alone. But since my choice is destroy you or you destroy me, then uh, I'm very happy to destroy you. I don't think she really counts as the Queen of Eblan anymore, does she? I've been playing on and off for the last, well, six months, Final Fantasy X, not, uh, not here, obviously not for you to watch, as it were, but I've been playing it, and, uh, I've, I've gone to the point, I, there's, there's a lot of strategy in that, I've noticed. Uh, just like there's a lot of strategy in this, but even more so, I tend to find that the uh, villains in Final Fantasy uh, X uh, can all be defeated, the bosses, but all of them need uh, strategy. And they each use a different strategy for that, so... I'm telling you because it's vaguely relevant to this game, I guess. Well, that hurts, but that uh, doesn't seem to poison them. That's unfortunate. Not sure I bothered with protect, really. Well, it's doing sap, so... I wish it told you what HP they have, but it doesn't tell you that, so... At least they seem fairly, sort of... Well, docile, to be honest. They're not... They're not actually doing that much. I mean, I'm using protect, but still, yeah. 
Rosa's not not been hurt at all. Pretty much none of them have been hurt. They're really concentrating on Edge. I will I will give them that. I might I might start just I'll try status affecting attacks, but if that doesn't work, I might just try using a full sort of magic assault on them. Black magic assault. Not that I have to, but just to get rid of them, because they're obviously gonna take a while, and I'm actually quite close to a save point, so... I don't know why they want to get rid of Edge, but they don't want to get rid of um, the others. They might, they seem to uh, just, uh, they don't seem to be, huh. That's interesting. Now oh, shut up now. Interesting personality. Still evil, but hmm. Well, fortunately, I think if I fell, I would be starting here. Yeah. I don't 
think this is going to be easy. Definitely don't think this is going to be easy, actually. I don't know how to defeat this thing. I survive long enough to find out. Let's find out. Okay, he's weak to nothing. Oh, irritating. I suppose I need a non-elementary attack. I would be surprised if stop works, but... Never know. Actually, reflect is going to be pretty useful. Might be a better idea to kill them with uh, these, I think. If I'm going to do what I'm going to do, and I am. <laughs> what I need to do is max on all of them. 
this is pretty much chaos here. Um, I might skip some of the battle, just till I can find out, work out what the heck I'm doing. To have a refract, because I think some of his uh, attacks uh, heal him. See, like that, uh, that healed him, unfortunately. Okay, he counterattacks with Fyra, which heals him. So maybe what I ought to do is not attack him at all. If I keep just defending, maybe I can get rid of him using Flax. Basically reflect all of his attacks back on him. That's my hope. No, I, uh, no, I'm not sure this actually works. Okay, I think, I think I pretty much screwed this up. Well, hopefully Reflex, um, Reflex stops working when they're uh, not unconscious. So I might still have a chance here. Okay, well, that was easier than I expected. That was probably a poorly um, edited thing, and uh, if it was, I apologise, but that was easier than I expected, at least. All of them probably have increased. Levels, if they were all alive and conscious, but never mind. And I got an achievement for that. Um, I'm not quite sure I did that. I messed around for a while, and, uh, <laughs> and I was lucky, but never mind. Um, I don't. Well, I don't know, actually. Rubicanti's interesting. Rubicanti seems like a genuine sort of warrior who's more interested in having a decent opponent than he is in simply destroying us. I think he really would like to fight us again. I won't, I actually wouldn't mind fighting him again. Not because I have any idea how I beat him. I don't. I just found him interesting. I have coffee. That's for you said no. Your sense of timing is extraordinary. Who um who wouldn't um are you? Seriously, why did Rubicante take less time to destroy than all of the other bad guys? All of the other art things, and he's supposed to be more powerful. Oh, 
Okay, it's probably the Majora's Mask. Well, instead of falling in, we are going to complete this room, I reckon, and uh, then we're going to go back and uh, make sure I haven't missed anything, and then we're going to go back to the save point, I think. Our oh, money is always helpful. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was stupid of me. Since I have essentially two characters, and that's it. These things probably aren't weak to anything. Well, I don't think we've had these icy uh, golems before. I assume they're golems. That's what they look like. Now it will uh, kill all of them. How do? Since I'm running out of stuff, I might as well see if I can steer away. Right. Oh no, of course I can't. Now I'll be ability to steal things. Why would there be anything to steal? I'll see you me. Oh, I call Mithra Golems. Now what? Screw it. Might as well do this.
And I got the Illuminator achievement. I don't know what that does, but that's what it is. And uh, at the very least, I know where the main bad guy uh, is now. I know where we're supposed to go to carry on. Uh, so I'm not going to be surprised by an enemy. I could skip battles, but I'm not going to because I want my characters to level up. Yep, this definitely, this is the the rest of that map that I had to complete, which you might remember I was on the other side before of this uh, of this little section with the gap in it, so I couldn't complete 100% until this episode. And uh, Cecil is down to one um, MP, which isn't good. I'm I'm really curious, actually. Does um do elemental attacks work on any of the uh, creatures now? Can I steal anything now that I've got these uh, powers and I'm facing? powerful enemies where it would be pretty useful for me to be able to do these things and now to redo them. Why is the game just uh, making things harder for me by making sure I can't? Well, that's it for this episode, I will see you next time.